In this video, we're going to complete an exercise set that asks us to identify the number sets when given a list of numbers, determine which number set or sets they belong to. So if I have natural numbers, whole numbers, integers, rational, irrational, and real numbers as my sets, we need to determine which set or sets do these belong. And if we start first, let's kind of review the definitions at the same time or let's kind of make a brief list of the numbers. Your natural numbers are your counting numbers, which means they start at one and count up to two to three, all the way up to positive infinity. So if we take a look at this list of numbers, five fourths is not a counting number. I mean, it says negative 12, and you know, negative numbers are not your natural numbers. Eight, is a counting number. You go three, four, five, six, seven, eight. It's in that list. So I know eight is part of the natural numbers. We know one is part of the natural numbers because that's where it starts. So let me write these down. I'm going to put them in numerical order and I'm going to include them in a brace as well since we're making a list. So you have one and eight. Let's see what else we can include. Zero is not a counting number. Square root of 18 is a non-repeating, non-terminating decimal, so therefore there's no way that's natural. But the square root of 100, if we were to simplify this, is actually the number 10. And 10 is a counting number. It's a natural number. So I'm going to put in here the square root of 100. Negative 12 sevenths, that's a fraction. It's not going to be a natural number for it. And so here is our set of natural numbers from this list. And so now we go into the whole numbers. Our whole numbers, think about the difference. What's the difference between whole numbers and natural numbers? Whole numbers start at zero, and then they count up. They count one, two, three. So whole numbers is the, starts at the number zero and then includes all of your natural numbers, all of your counting numbers. So when I'm making this list of whole numbers, I know my natural numbers have to be included in that list, as well as if it's in the list of numbers given to us, the number zero, which we see it is. And so the list of whole numbers, again, I'm gonna put them in numerical order for it. It starts at zero. And then it's going to include all of my natural numbers I have, which are 1, 8, and then the square root of 100. And so there's our whole numbers. Integers, if we were to look at those, integers start at negative infinity. And then they go and they count up. And so then we have, you know, negative three, negative two, negative one. And then it goes and includes zero. And then it includes one, two, three, all the way up. So you can hopefully see the color coding. I'm trying to at least write down a little bit that if I have an integer for this, Integers include your whole numbers as well, which your whole numbers included your natural. And so I know in my list, I'm going to have to include my whole numbers, 0, 1, 2, 3, dot, 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 to infinity that are in this list, which we already discovered, 0, 1, 8, square root of 100. So I need to fill in, are there any negatives as well? And I can see negative 12. So I know that's going to be included with it. But then I also see negative 12 sevenths. Is that an integer? Remember, integers are defined as positive and negative whole numbers. And our fractions are not located in the whole number list. So therefore, they're not located in the integers as well. Because the only difference of integers and whole numbers is you include the negatives of the wholes as well. So my list for integers I have a negative 12, and then all of my whole numbers. So 0, 1, 8, and the square root of 100. 
and there's my list of integers. And so now we're at the rationals. Now rationals, non-repeating, non-terminating decimals are irrationals. Rationals are repeating and terminating numbers. These are ones that we say the most basic way you'll hear, you'll hear a teacher say is they can be written as a fraction, A over B. So that would be a rational number. Now written as a fraction where you have an integer A or an integer B for it. So rational numbers, remember, are the outside part of the Venn diagram. Your integers and whole and natural are all rational. So everything we found so far is a rational number. I now need to fill in with the actual fraction parts as well, which if we take a look, you know, 5 fourths and negative 12 sevenths are the fractions. So my whole numbers, my integers are also included in this. So I have negative 12. Again, I put numerical order, then negative 12 sevenths. And then I have 0, 1, 5 fourths is greater than 1, and then 8, and then square root of 100. And that's a list of my rational numbers. And so last, I have my irrational. Well, here's the interesting part. I've said this in the previous videos that if you have a rational number, there's no way it can be irrational. So this automatically is eliminated from the irrational list. So what's the only number in this list that we have not placed in our rational number set? And that is the square root of 18, because that is a non-repeating, non-terminating decimal. So that is the only irrational number. And the last one is your real numbers for it. Your real numbers are any number that you know of right now that exists. And so again, numerical order, that is every single number in this set. So I have negative 12, I have negative 12 sevenths, I have zero, I have one, I have five fourths, and then the square root of 18, we said before was four point something, and so that's gonna go here, and then the number eight, and then the square root of 100. And so we just did some problems on how to determine the subsets that numbers belong from a given list. And hopefully this helped you with your understanding of what is a natural number, what is a whole number, what's an integer, rational versus irrational numbers, and how to kind of see which ones they belong to.